Uh, it's been a minute since I just talked to you guys like this, so I'll go ahead and give you a few updates. Uh, first of all, my foot still hurts like hell. That's why I'm into boot. I think I go back next week for another checkup, and if it doesn't get better, we'll go from there, see what we have to do in order to remedy the foot, because it still fucking hurts. Um, and it's driving me mad, it's driving me bonkers, because I can't do all the stuff that I want to do. Um, also, on Monday, just got back from the Masters, Augusta. Uh, went out there with my dad, so any golfers out there who love golf need to go, need to experience it at least once. This was probably a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, especially to go with my dad. So um, we went out there and it was a fabulous time. Okay. Um, also, back to business. Anything you guys want to see, any questions you have, any training tips you want to see, um, how to videos, go ahead and let me know. Ask your questions, submit what you want to see so this way I can best gear this um information to you guys okay but I had a good question today so that's why i'm back here doing a question uh this person asked because they've been hearing the phrase cap a dog's drive a lot more and they're just wondering what it is and how you do it so essentially capping a dog's drive is do you have control over your dog when they are in drive okay you gotta remember drive is when they're at their highest peak okay it could be Usually it's prey drive because whether if it's with food or a toy or another dog that they want to chase or a squirrel they want to go chase, that's their highest peak, okay? That's what they want the most, okay? That's where the dogs get their edges. You got to remember before humans started training dogs, their sole goal was to uh, hunt, chase, kill, eat, okay? Basically it, so that's what they are naturally born to do, okay? So when they are in drive, that is when it's go, 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 okay? And that's when you wanna train your dog because anyone can have command over their dog when they're tired or they're slow or there's no stimu outside stimulation around, okay? That's why we always say you gotta up the ante when it comes to training your dog because if you don't, by the time something does happen an outside stimulus comes, is that's when it matters okay that's when it's under the gun that's gonna see what your dog is really made of okay so anytime you're using food or a toy um you see it with me or other trainers on youtube or anywhere else they are constantly stimulating and emulating that dog being in drive that's why again you get a few misses on the tug to build up that drive and that's where can you cap it can you put them in a down can they go chase something full throttle and you have and you have enough control over that dog and that dog has enough control to do a recall or a plot or something else to call that dog off. I literally just had to do it because if you heard in the beginning, the neighbor's dog is outside and Ava want to go for it. But because I've been working on her and getting her recall better because I told you guys I let some few things slide because of this foot deal was able to call her off and bring her back in so I don't have to deal with the issue of her and the next door neighbor's dog, okay? So that is it, okay? Whether if you're using food, you're using a toy, you're just emulating and stimulating that dog enough to build enough drive to when can you literally get them to do what you want, okay? And that's it. And that's when you want to do it the most because that's where you're going to get your speed. That's where you're going to get, you know, your missed opportunities. That's where the dog's going to fail. But it's okay because that's how the dog learns and that's what you want anyone can train like i said a slow boring tired dog but can you tr do it when the dog is at its peak performance and that's when it's in drive okay you don't want to use they could be in defensive drive done it a little bit but ideally you want to be in prey drive because remember anything defensive that's just a that's just a reaction to a situation when ideally you want to say a command and they do a response to the command, okay? You don't want a reaction to a situation because that's where something bad is gonna happen. So again, that's why you gotta practice and build them up in their drives with other obstacles and stimulations around, whether it's cars or other dogs, other people. And that's where it matters and that's where you're gonna get the most. And that's where you start seeing dogs that are really good, really proofed and everything to where no matter what's around, they have a, strong dog which is what i'm now going to change the channel's channel to the channel's title to excuse me name to um strong dog because that's what you want to build you want to be able to build a dog that's strong mentally and physically 
to no matter what situation you're putting that dog in and it's your normal situation okay it's not other people's it's whatever you put you dog in that you want your dog to be able to handle that's what you're doing and that's what you want to build you want to build a strong dog and that's how you do it by capping its drive all right good luck talk to you next time done